I think in the future there will be more and more emphasis on the role that private companies and individual citizens have in helping to solve problems we all share, public problems. The rise of non-governmental organizations in the last 15 or 20 years has been staggering. That is, not-for-profit groups trying to do public good. In the United States alone, there are more than a million of these groups, half of them formed since 1995. And that's what this cooperation group is here with your students. It's, it's a way of doing that. I think we'll see more of that. I think there will be more opportunities to try to figure out how to bring women into the workforce in a way, in terms of full equality, and that's a place that helps rich as well as poor countries. At a recent uh, summit of the Asian Pacific Cooperation Group, Secretary of State Clinton, who had her last day in office yesterday, um, referred to a report by Goldman Sachs in America which said that reducing barriers to women in business in the U.S. to full equality would increase our GDP by 9 percent, 13 percent in the Eurozone and 16 percent in Japan. So we need to think about how we can have public-private partnerships and non-governmental groups to do that. I am very grateful for Amway's commitment on this. A lot of you know that Amway Japan's corporate social responsibility agenda includes building community houses. And I'm going to let Mark talk about that. I know he's going to talk about that in a minute. But I want to say how much I appreciate what this company does for children in the United States and how much I appreciate what they have done in Haiti to support the efforts. There will always be a gap between what the private sector can produce and what the government can provide. Non-governmental actions, charitable giving, specific projects can fill that gap and can be innovative in trying, as I said earlier when we were talking backstage, to try to do things faster, cheaper, better. To build the world of the 21st century, we want there will be more growth, more broadly shared prosperity, less inequality, the proper amount of instability, and a sustainable path for the use of energy, food, and other resources. I am always in awe of the ability of the Japanese people to solve a problem and do it together once they decide to do it. I spend an enormous amount of my time, and this is my last example, in the U.S. dealing with our number one public health problem. Our children have gained too much weight, they eat too much sugar and bad foods, they don't exercise enough, and it's causing horrible problems with diabetes and other conditions. We seem to be driving that problem down now. My foundation negotiated agreements with the soft drink industry and with people providing food in our schools that it will improve the diets of 30 million children.